This is BBC World News. I'm Matthew Emerly Waller. On today's Global, the US president joins calls for a war crimes trial as evidence emerges of killings of civilians and mass graves in Ukraine. The Ukrainian president Volodymyr Zelensky visits the town of Bucha, where bodies lay in the streets. He accuses Russian troops of murder and torture. It's very difficult to talk when you see what they have done here. And day by day, they find bodies in the cellars, uh, people tortured, people killed. We have to gather all the detail so this can be an actual have a war crime trial. This guy is brutal. And what's happening in Bucha is outrageous. And everyone's seen it. Russia has denied any involvement in the killing, saying the pictures of dead bodies are fake. Our other main stories here on today's programme, as the latest UN report on climate is published, the Secretary General accuses governments and businesses of lying about their efforts to tackle climate change. And political turmoil in Pakistan, the Supreme Court deliberates whether blocking a vote of no confidence against the Prime Minister Imran Khan was legitimate. Hello and welcome to today's Global. The Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has visited the town of Bucha near Kyiv, where evidence has emerged of Russian troops killing civilians. He once again accused Russia of war crimes and genocide and said local people had been treated worse than animals. As Russian troops withdraw, a picture of what civilians have had to endure is becoming clearer, but Russia is denying it's been involved in the deaths, claiming that the pictures of bodies in the streets are staged and fake. Well, from Ukraine, our correspondent Anna Foster has sent this report, and you may find the report upsetting. 